Hello, John Muller from the JP Muller Group. Uh, to date, I've only shown uh, dependencies or start and end dependencies based on a single other task. But I often get questioned about how you could make a task dependent on two or more tasks. So I want to show you how to do that today. So right now I'm highlighting the start date of a line 16, which is task 11.2.3. Let's say I wanted to start a day after task 17 or task 15 up here, whichever is greatest. Well, I'm simply going to use a max function. So I'm going to highlight the cell. I'm going to put equals max, and I'm going to highlight the end cell for task in row 17. And I'm going to put a comma. I'm going to start adding other cells. So in this case, I want to add one other. So we'll add task 15. And I'm going to take the maximum of the dates there and add one. So in this case, since task 17 is 76 and task 15 is 716, it should result in 717 as being the start date. And it did. Now let's say I wanted to start when the first task starts of a couple tasks. So let's say I want to look at task 17, the start date, and I want to look at task 15. But I want to start when the earliest one starts in conjunction with it. In this case, it would be 17. What I would do is use the min function. And in this case, I'm going to use column O. And I'm not going to add 1 because I want to start at the same time. So we're going to take a look at those two cells. It's going to decide which one is the least or the less or the earliest. And then it's going to start at that same time. So in this case, it should start on July 4th, Independence Day here in the US. And there you have it. One other note, you're going to see that um, in the dependency column, it should, and it's not. Yeah, there we go it's going to uh, show us that min function. That's a change I made in version 7.4.2. If you're not up to date, you might see that as blank. In the past, when I was collapsing um, rows, uh, what we did is we hid the min and the max functions, but I have re-enabled them to support this functionality. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to subscribe.